What's up, tweeners? Welcome back to another Tweener Tennis video today here on the channel. And today we have part two of our interviews with doubles pairing Jackson Winthrow and Nate Lamons. Today we are interviewing Nate Lamons, the SMU alumni who was able to talk to us after winning his ATP 250 title in Newport, Rhode Island at the Tennis Hall of Fame. We already talked to Nate's partner, Jackson Winthrow, Texas A&M alum. And it was a fun interview. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check the link up here and down in the description below. We were really excited to talk to Nate about his process of being a tennis player, what it was like to choose doubles, and a lot more with his process throughout the entire week and having such a successful week at the International Tennis Hall of Fame. To remind you guys before we watch this interview, 90% of you aren't even subscribed to Twitter at Tennis. I don't understand what's going on. 90, 90. Make sure to leave a like on this video to show your appreciation and make sure you are subscribed. You gotta turn that button gray. So make sure you do subscribe. We're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and we'd love to have you guys join us. Now enjoy our part two for our doubles champions interviews with Nate Lamons. Well, Nate, thanks for joining me today, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations today, big win. How, how would you describe this week? Um, yeah, first of all, thanks. Yeah, it's been a great week. Um, yeah, I guess uh, fiery is okay. how I describe it. I mean, some of the photos we've gotten, we're, we're yelling a lot. All our matches were really close. Um, anytime it goes to 10 point buster, there's emotion because the, the energy's high, the tensions are high. Uh, crowds got into it. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun and yeah, look forward to coming back. And for you two, you and Jackson have been playing together for how long? Um, I would say kind of off and on for like two and a half years now. Okay. And you yeah. found your stride now too, because now you're playing together for the rest of the year. Yes. Um, yeah. There was there was a we, we had some some tough patches for sure, and I mm -hmm. think there was a moment last kind of last summer where we sort of really hashed out and had a good conversation and, and figured out, hey, if if we're gonna make this work, we gotta change some things, and and it's been working for us. I think it's really helped us adjust, get better, work through some struggles, and mm -hmm. um, I think it's showing, and we're continuing to get better. So. And for you too, Jackson was telling us how you watch a lot of tape. Mm -hmm. When did you start doing that? Um, you know, to be honest, I need to be better at watching my own tape. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I've, I've always watched opponents as much as I could just to get an idea of sort of how it looks when they play. I think okay. early on, sort of lower levels and as guys are improving, you can, there are holes in their game that you can maybe see and exploit but I think at this level there's there's not really holes it's more you look at tendencies I guess and, mm -hmm. and see uh, look for those um, but admittedly I need to look back at my own more okay. um, I think I tend to be really hard on myself and when I watch the tape back I find hey I was actually a lot better here and there and um, but yeah I think um, you, it's hard to get better if you you're in your own head because okay. I think a lot of times your interpretation of things isn't always right especially when there's emotion involved so I think watch Watching films huge. Whoa. You! Please subscribe. Thanks. For you too, it sounds like you're your own biggest critic, right? And that getting into your head and realizing that you're not necessarily the problem, but you get in the way of yourself. Definitely, definitely. I think, um, yeah, there's a place for film on both sides for the critique and for the reinforcement. Mm. Um, I think I tend to err on the critiquing side, but, um, mm. you know, I think I need to get better at, at both probably. <laughs> so do you have a notebook where you write down everything or write your notes, or is it just primarily watch and watch I do, back? I do. So um, up until probably two weeks ago, I looked at the notebook every changeover as well. Okay. Um, just I have little, like, reminders or cues that I like to recenter myself mm -hmm. before each point. Um, I think the last couple of weeks I've experimented a little bit with it with maybe not spending as much time on the changeovers looking at it but I still have the same process before matches and mm -hmm. I think it helps it helps write it down helps kind of ingrain it in my head as well um, yeah so it's, it's a helpful tool can you tell us one of your cues or one of the yeah. things you say to yourself or is that secret no to you? no, oh, no. Okay. Um, I think there there are some cues that, that vary match to match but okay. um, kind of before each point whether I'm serving returning or the net man mm -hmm. there's a there's like a verbal cue that I'll tell myself for serving it's yeah I use the word alert because okay. I want to be make sure I'm ready for the first volley or the whatever the ball is coming um, I think there's the way Jackson and I play where we serve big there's stretches where we go and the server doesn't touch a ball after the serve mm -hmm. and I find that if I remind myself I'm I'm much more ready when those balls do come mm -hmm. um, so yeah 
it's an and example. Bo- and both of you are very, and I told Jackson this as well, you're both very aggressive. You like mm-hmm. to get to the net. You like to hit the ball hard, but you still have that finesse part to it. How do you adjust that game when you play someone like Will or Max in these pressure situations? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, everyone plays a little different. Jackson mm. and I tend to be very aggressive, uh, charging net. Mm. Um, we serve in volley. Will and Max stay back. Um, and there, there are subtleties, yeah, you do have to adjust for them. You know, because they say back returning, um, the volley finish is, is short. If you can kill the volley off their return, it's huge. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas if you guys play guys that kind of stagger one up, one back like us a lot of the time, you know, if you can stick that volley through the middle, it's better. Um, and so, I mean, little things like that, you adjust and, and find. Um, you know, both those guys are very crafty from the baseline. You got to know and be ready for mm-hmm. any any matter of point to happen. But yeah, um, yeah definitely, that's the beauty of the Dubs game. You know, yeah. so there's some subtleties like that. And for you too, you we've been to SMU last year. It's kind of a second home to you. Mm-hmm. A really big home, I must say now, yeah, it because it's home. it's grown. It is. And Grant's been doing a great job with it. it. You're yeah. kind of a living legend there. Mm-hmm. Not to toot your own horn. We wow. got to keep those compliments I going, like right? I like it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How would you describe college tennis in one word for yourself? Uh, development. Okay. Development. Can you expand upon that? Yeah. So, I mean, I came in and I redshirted my freshman year because mm-hmm. uh, I wasn't at the level to contribute. Um, I might have been able to squeak in at line six here and there, but it, it you know, it would have been forcing out someone who was better than me anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, it was it was growing a lot physically and mentally, and and learning really how I wanted to play tennis, adjusting some strokes for sure, um, but really just kind of growing. I think mm-hmm. was the biggest thing for me and learned a lot and then you know kind of steadily moved up the lineup every year I really wasn't I would say a a prominent feature of the team until Mm -hmm. my senior year maybe maybe junior year as well Mm -hmm. Um, or super senior year really super senior fifth year Um, yeah so I think for me I if if it weren't for college if it weren't for that retro year I definitely wouldn't be here now Um, I definitely would be out in the workforce like everybody else Uh, thanks yeah (laughs) appreciate that that makes me feel uh, so good no I mean I think it's it's a credit to the coaches as well a credit mm-hmm. to you know yes my own work but they they did they I would not be here without them so credit to them and like you said Grant's doing an amazing job at SMU now he wasn't there <clears throat> excuse me when when I was in school mm-hmm. um, but he's bringing an extreme buzz to the to the program to the school it's great to see I love coming back um, yeah so big things there and for you too for doubles what's the biggest misconception that people have about the game Ooh. because I feel like a lot of people understand what singles is for doubles, again, I feel like you guys don't get enough credit for what you do. But you okay? Some <laughs> fell from the sky. You know, I think because doubles isn't probably televised as much, mm-hmm. people maybe aren't. I just think it's an awareness thing, really. Okay. I think um, the casual viewer watches it or plays it. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think there's the, it's people know about it. I think it's just unless you're at the tournament in person, it's pretty hard to consume mm-hmm. as as a viewer. So I think. Um, for me, that's maybe the biggest bone mm-hmm. to pick with doubles that I have. Fair. You know, just getting it in front of people because, yeah. I mean, as, as this tournament shows, people love watching it when they get it in front of them. So yeah. I think um, maybe that's it. Is like maybe people don't see it as, as consumable or as interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think if you get it in front of them, they're, they're going to watch it. And for you to... For people to say double specialist, Mm -hmm. were you always that double specialist or what was the turning point to make you focus on this side of tennis? Yeah. Um, So coming out of school, no, definitely not. Okay. Um, I was playing both. I played singles. So there was a point. I'm a little fuzzy on the dates of it. That's okay. But there was a point where, so the singles was in, it was maybe like eight, nine hundred. And so I was able to get into some challenger qualities at the time. And the doubles was around 200 or just mm. inside. So I made the decision, okay, I'll play challenger main doubles and play qualities of singles. Um, and th- th- I did that for maybe like five months or so. Didn't get into many qualities, but was able to play here and there. Um, and then they changed the ranking system shortly thereafter okay. to where, I don't know if you remember this, but the transition rankings. Yeah. So it essentially got rid of challenger qualities. Yeah. Um, so I had to make the decision, okay, do I, you know, push and see how far I can go in doubles or do I go back to futures and play both? Yeah. Um, and I think at the time I, I felt like 
not necessarily that I couldn't make a, a push in singles. I mm -hmm. just felt like the road would be further. Mm -hmm. um, and I think at the time, money still wasn't good. Um, and it, it's still not great at the futures level. And so I think for me, I felt like I, I was closer to being at an elite level in doubles. And so I wanted to pursue that. Um, I do miss singles still. Okay. I think um, the physicality of it and, and just getting out there and, and being more alone as well is, yeah. is, a, is a different aspect to the game that I do miss um, I miss sort of the physical fatigue and the soreness and all of that um, I get out for some club tennis here and there in the summers I miss it that much I'm a little sick but uh, really yeah but, wow. um, don't I say definitely, that to Jackson I, no <laughs> no no I definitely made the right decision though to, to go doubles for okay sure. I think um, still surprising myself with how well I can do and, okay. and that's uh, that's exciting but that sure. but that's awesome thank you so much for joining us yeah, today man I appreciate Absolutely. it thanks man yeah.